Hello the 31st here, how's it going? Today's video is one of those weird and complicated ones. So we know there are different dimensions in the Pokemon anime, however, is there a mega and non-mega timeline that run parallel to one another where we've been watching Ash and the gang? And if so, at any point is there a switch between the two from our perspective? Try imagining it like this. Two TV channels, the first being the non-mega timeline and the second being the mega timeline. We start out watching Ash on the first channel, the non-mega timeline, but at some point we press the remote and switch over to the second channel, the mega timeline. Both have the same start point, but the change is from our perspective. Well, that's what I'm going to try and find out today. So first of all, for those who don't know, the events in both timelines are pretty much the same just they happen slightly differently because of the existence of Mega Evolution and Primal Reversion in one of these timelines and not the other. For this theory, I will be crossing cannons, which I know is very taboo in the community, but I kinda have to do it. Firstly, are there multiple timelines? Yes, probably. I say this because of the Mega Evolution special. Alan is a canon character within the Pokemon anime, as seen by the fact that he won the Kalos League. Ahem, <coughs> spoilers. In these specials, we see Alan and Hoenn, and this is clearly a different Hoenn to the one that Ash was in. The trainers such as Steven are clearly different, and Mega Evolution and Primal Reversion exist, and they're not even uncommon. These only exist in timelines where AZ's ultimate weapon was fired, and from the fact they weren't around when Ash was in Hoenn, we can say that there's probably a split between the, you know, the Mega and the non-Mega timelines between Gen 4 and 6, Gen 4 being after Gen 3, and Gen 6 being when Mega Evolution is a common thing. But we can narrow it down even further with this next piece of evidence. Mewtwo. There is clearly a split as we can see the differences between the two Mewtwo in each timeline. I'll go into all that in a bit more detail in a minute, but for now all I'm going to say is that the first appearance of a Mega Pokemon was Mewtwo Y in Gen 5. Therefore we can narrow the split down to between Gen 4 and 5. With this in mind, the first place I thought to look was just after Gen 3 had finished and just before Gen 4 began. In the real world, this is when 4 kids lost the rights to the Pokemon anime and all the voices for the English characters changed. This could mean a different universe, but it's not the split we're looking for. For a start, this only happened in the English dub of the anime, and with a massive number of Gen 4 Pokemon that can Mega Evolve, I think we would have seen at least one, for example, one of Cynthia's Pokemon, as she has numerous that have the potential to Mega Evolve. So, with Gen 4 ruled out, that leaves us with one possible generation for the split, Gen 5. There's quite a bit of evidence to show how this is possible, and with that said, we're going back to Mewtwo. As I've already said, Mewtwo Y was the first Mega Evolution we ever were introduced to, all the way back in Gen 5. Here, I'm going to throw in like another mini theory. Back when the Genesect movie was released, there was quite a lot of controversy about whether there was two different Mewtwo, or it was the same one as the first ever Pokemon movie. However, the director of the movie, Kunihiko Uyama, said that it is indeed a different Mewtwo than the one from the first movie. Back then, everyone assumed that this was some kind of new Mewtwo that had been created using some kind of Team Rocket style method, maybe using their data, but this was because we didn't know what Mega Evolution was. This was the first time we'd seen it, and trailers for X and Y weren't even out, let alone the story of the actual game, so we had no idea there was even going to be multiple timelines. But now we do, and it all makes sense. Well, mostly. Events happen similarly in both timelines. When Ash first sees the Mewtwo in the Genesect movie, he says, wait, you're which implies he knows who Mewtwo is. Now, they've met a couple of times after the events of the first movie, which were erased from his memory, in the original timeline. However, if this is a separate timeline, this could be Mewtwo's first appearance. She's just escaped from whoever made her, and it would explain why she doesn't know who Ash is. But that doesn't explain why Ash knows Mewtwo. Now, it's possible that Ash has seen Mewtwo before, perhaps in some kind of laboratory or something, or that there is more than one Mewtwo in the single timeline. Okay, back to the theory at hand. By the end of Gen 5, Mega Evolution exists, and the timelines have changed. While it's not impossible, I believe the likelihood of the Switch taking place mid-generation is slim. So, I'm gonna say the Switch must have happened at the start of Gen 5, or just after the end of Gen 4. Here's where we have to start crossing cannons. The black and white Pokedex, there's only one Pokemon in Unova that can Mega Evolve, and that is Ordino. <laughs> no one uses Ordino. From black and white to black and white 2, there is apparently a two year gap, and within that time many things have changed, from the map to the Pokemon, and crucially the gym leaders. In the anime, all the gym leaders Ash battles are the black and white ones, except for Roxy. Ash battles her in the 8th gym, and in black and white too, she is only the second gym leader. With these small changes, I conclude that Ash is in Unova around but just after the events of black and white, not long enough for most of the changes that turn black and white into black and white too to have happened. This means that Unova only has one Mega Pokemon while Ash is there. Because of this, 
I believe Unova has a similar culture to Alola in that Mega Evolution exists, but no one has it. In Alola, it's substituted for Z crystals, but in Unova, there's kind of nothing to replace it. That's why we don't see any Mega Evolution in the show, even though we're in the Mega Timeline. However, this is assuming that the change does not happen midway through an adventure. And the reason I'm saying it didn't happen like that in the middle of the adventure is just because from the start of the show to the end, we don't see any real change in the characters or the region itself that would indicate Indicate, you know a switch between timelines then at the end of gen 5 ash immediately gets on a plane to kalos where he's first introduced to mega evolution even though he's already seen it he just didn't know what it was and that's it what do you think thank you very much for listening i know it was a long one if you enjoyed please of course leave a like comment your opinions down below what do you think about this whole topic and uh, subscribe to join the Wibber Nation today. What I'm looking for at the moment is some pixel art of my mascot, the Wibber with the sunglasses and the comfy, if at all possible, anyone's good enough, an animated GIF version, like a pixel art with the comfy that kind of rotates around while Wibber just stands there. Yeah, obviously with a transparent background so that I can put it in videos and stuff. You will of course be credited and shouted out and stuff. But yeah, um, thank you for listening. Bye, Wibber out.